Harris is in the position to secure the nomination, especially with a final boost from her home state's nearly 500 delegates. Your reporter Madison Keevy has a scoop from that unanimous vote that just happened hours ago, Madison. Yeah, a big day, a big few hours since yesterday on this. Vice President Harris calls herself a daughter of California very fondly, and she just put out a statement here in the last couple hours that she's proud to have secured broad support needed to be the nominee and that she's proud her home state's delegation helped put the campaign over the top. Some of those delegates are women following in Harris's footsteps. A debut as the campaign's ticket topper. Vice President Kamala Harris started her day with staff at Campaign HQ. So in the next 106 days, we have work to do. We have doors to knock on, we have people to talk to, we have phone calls to make, and we have an election to win. Within hours of this rallying speech, Harris was officially in position to secure the Democratic nomination. We now will be able to have a daughter of California to be our president. One of the Democratic delegates, West Sacramento Mayor Martha Guerrero. What a historic experience for me to be able to cast the vote for a woman of color. As a woman myself, mayor, as a woman serving on city council, all female city council, it just gives me goosebumps to be able to have this moment in history. Guerrero believes with Harris in the White House, cities like West Sacramento will benefit. It's one reason, she said, hundreds of Dem delegates were excited to endorse Harris Monday night. And when we fight, we win. The highlight for the delegation? Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi joined the Zoom and was the one who made the motion to vote Harris as the nominee. So over 350, 390 of us were on this call, and there was so much great emotion. Now, in tangent with the excitement, there was also gratitude amongst the delegates that President Biden bowed out of the race. They thanked him publicly and on the call for the difficult decision. And the mayor said that that was a big portion of their call today was celebrating him and talking about what it meant for him to do this. Talk about being thrust into the spotlight because we didn't hear a lot from her when Biden was going through the whole drama of whether he should drop out or right. not, right? No, she we very didn't. much uh, went in the sidelines. Yeah, and, and the energy and the excitement, that was another big takeaway for delegates on that call, that they finally feel like they've gotten that energy back up to where they say it should be. All right. right. They yes. definitely need the energy to keep them going through all of this. Yeah. Madison, thank you. The California Democratic Party released a statement after their vote saying it's proud to offer up support to the VP, saying she represents a new generation of leadership and has the ability to unite their party and beat former President Trump. The VP was 